Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tess Lark, and today I wanted to talk to you about The Ordinary. Before we get into this video, I want to preface this by saying that I am not a licensed esthetician, nor am I a dermatologist. I don't claim to know more than either of those professionals. This is just my own experience with this brand, my own unsponsored, honest opinions as a skincare junkie who has used this line and been into this brand for a couple years now. I also have a little bit of housekeeping. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm gonna be moving to a weekly uploading schedule instead of posting two times a week. I'm gonna start posting one time a week. Um, I'm also changing my upload day to Thursday at noon. And I'm just doing this because I really enjoy filming these videos and making them for you. And I'm really enjoying the interaction that we're having here on this platform, but editing and filming and coming up with the ideas for videos it all is very time consuming and i feel like i'm taking too much time away from my art and my business and i need to kind of pivot back a little bit pull back a little bit um, and i think that a weekly schedule is a little bit more sustainable for me long term i also really want to make better content for you guys. I want to make better videos, better quality videos, which means putting in more work and time into production and post-production. So um, going forward, I'm just going to be posting once a week. And if you want to see those videos, which will be on arts and crafts, DIYs, some recipes, beauty reviews, things like that. If you're interested in that, make sure that you're subscribed so we can hang out every week. And let's just jump right into this review. So what is The Ordinary? The Ordinary is a skincare company under the umbrella company of Decium. I really love The Ordinary because I feel that they have a very straightforward, no-nonsense approach when it comes to skincare. Their price points are also extremely competitive, very affordable as far as uh, skincare and beauty products go, yet they're still very effective. Another thing that I like about this company is that they're very, very transparent with their formulas, their percentages, and everything that goes into the products is right there on the label. There's no fragrances that I know of, there's no gimmicks, it's just straightforward skincare at an affordable price. The only thing about The Ordinary is that there's usually just like one or two active ingredients per product, so you kind of need to know a little bit about skincare and what your needs are and what you're wanting to target. It, also, the website does break down the ingredients pretty well. Kind of customize your own skincare exactly to what it is that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my top five favorite products from The Ordinary. And then, you know what, I think I will talk about one that I'm personally not as into. Um, and like I said, again, these are just my opinions. This is just for fun and yeah. So the first product that I'm gonna be talking about today by The Ordinary is their vitamin C. And the one that I'm using is the vitamin C suspension. It's 23% and um, it's in HA spheres. It says it's a water-free, silicone-free, stable suspension. And I use this product almost daily. I use it in the morning. Vitamin C is really great for just brightening your uh, complexion. So if your skin is a bit dull, vitamin C is really gonna help with that. Vitamin C is also really good for fading dark spots. So if you've got like pigmentation problems like me, sometimes I get like, um, like acne scars and things like that. Vitamin C really, really helps to fade those over time. So I will say about this vitamin C in particular, and I have actually seen it in like comments and reviews on the site and on Amazon, is that some people think that it is pretty strong. And I will admit the first couple times I used it, it did tingle a bit. So definitely I would go ahead and start off small. You can even do a test patch. Another way to kind of dilute this uh, on your skin is by putting it on after you put on some sort of moisturizer. So you're not putting it directly onto your skin. But I love this product. I use it almost daily every morning. One other weird side note about this product though is that I swear when I use it, it leaves like, there's no scent to it, right? But I swear that it leaves this kind of weird lasting like scent on my hands throughout the day. I don't know if I'm crazy. If you've experienced this too, let me know. Like I, I wash my hands throughout the day, but I swear like it just like leaves some like, it's hard to explain. It's not a deal breaker for me, clearly. This is maybe like my fifth container of this, but um, 
yeah see the texture like that and it can have like a little bit of a graininess to it but it goes away pretty quickly and it also is really light on your skin all right so vitamin c the next on my list is the niacinamide and zinc solution um this is another one that i use almost daily a word of caution though don't use the niacinamide after or before you use the vitamin c i find that when i use the two of them together it actually makes kind of like gluey consistency on my skin that is just no good and no fun and starts to kind of peel off um i'll show you and then I'm going to add the niacinamide, just so you can see what I'm talking about. No, it's actually not really doing it. Okay, guys, I'm reading my words. It might have been a different vitamin C that I was using. Oh, at one point, I think I was using the silicone suspension, so maybe that was what it was doing. But this is actually blending together really nicely. So I'm going to just take that back. With this vitamin C, it seems like using the niacinamide right after it is not an issue, which is very exciting for me because I love niacinamide, and currently I have been alternating vitamin C in the morning, niacinamide at night, but now I will probably up my niacinamide to twice a day. Niacinamide, why is it nice for your skin? It really helps evening out texture. So if you've got uneven texture because maybe your pores are a bit larger, things like that, it can really help to even that out over time. It also helps regulate oil production, which can help you have less breakouts over time. Niacinamide, it's great, love it. I will also have all these products linked down below if you're interested in trying any of them. I do make a very small commission that helps support me in this page at no additional cost to you, no pressure to buy, just in case you're interested, those links are there. The next product that I wanna talk about is the Buffet. This is their peptide serum. From my understanding and my knowledge, the science on peptides is still kind of out. They're supposed to be hydrating, smoothing, help with texture, help with tone. From my experience with this little guy here, I find that to be true. It's soothing and hydrating and I feel like it is just a nice little addition to my skincare routine. And it's just clear, it goes on really nicely, really smooth. It honestly, to me, kind of has a bit of a cooling effect. Like, not that's intense or anything like that. It's just very soothing. I really like it, and especially at the price point, I think that if you're just kind of playing with products and seeing what ingredients work for you, Ordinary is a great brand to try things out because those price points are so low. For example, the Buffet is $22. So for skincare, $22 for, this is 30 milliliters. I mean, that's very reasonable in my opinion. All right, next up is the Retinoid. And the one that I'm using and going to talk about is their Renactive Retinoid 5% in Squalene. And they have different percentages of retinoids. First of all, what is a retinoid? Uh, a retinoid is similar to a retinol where it is a vitamin A derivative. And this is actually one of the most scientifically researched skincare ingredients, right? So it's actually been clinically proven to have all of these amazing benefits for your skin from reducing acne to, to minimize fine lines and wrinkles to fighting free radicals in your skin retinol if you are 25 or over you should definitely have some sort of retinol or retinoid in your skincare routine in my opinion the thing about a retinol though is that it can be kind of harsh for your skin so while you're getting used to it you might not want to use it every night um, the other thing about retinol it can increase photosensitivity so that is um, sensitivity to light which over time we know the sun is like the most damaging thing for your skin so if you're going to use a retinol absolutely use an spf every morning which you should already be doing anyway also use your retinol at night when you're not going to be exposed to the sun also because retinol can be irritating, there are different levels of strengths for their retinol um, products. Like they have a, retino a retinoid that has only 1% of retinoid. So if you're just getting started, start slow and slowly increase as time goes on. Um, I also love this one specifically because it's in squalene and squalene is known to really soothe and hydrate your skin. And it's also known to help prevent and diminish the look of fine lines over time. So I think this is kind of a brilliant product to have the retinoid 
with the squalene because both of them work together to fight these sort of like signs of aging and things like that but the squalene is going to help hydrate and protect your skin while the retinoid is a little bit um a little bit more of like a bulldozer it's pretty lightweight again just goes on really nice very smooth and also a bit hydrating from that squalene my hands are loving today your hands chest and neck too you guys they all see a lot of sun give them some love as you're giving your face some love and then the last product that i have up on today's list is the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. Um, and this is not something that you use every day. I think that most they say to use it like once a week. So they recommend not using it more than twice per week. For me personally, I just use this maybe once or twice every month. Um, and it is, it's, it's a peeling solution. So obviously this is not gonna be as strong or effective as a professional peel that you can get at an office and if you are really struggling with your skin the best recommendation that i could give you would be to seek professional help because they will help you like no one else can um but all that being said skincare is fun to do and it's fun to do at home right so anyway <laughs> so this is a chemical exfoliator so instead of like a physical exfoliant like something like a scrub like a sugar scrub or a walnut scrub something like that that can actually cause tiny little abrasions in your skin and lead to long term damage over time some sort of chemical exfoliant is a lot nicer to use on your skin gonna be a lot more gentle maybe arguably more effective so this one I love it only stays on for 10 minutes so it's not like a big time requirement it's red so you get to look like carry at the prom that's fun and I find it really just helps to brighten my skin tone so again like that winter dull skin this is a great one to kind of rectify that and it also helps again with the dark spots pigmentation it helps to fade all of those like sunspots things like that I love this mask I think it's great and it is only $19, which again, I think for skincare is extremely affordable and reasonable. So let's talk about one product that we tried and mm, not sold. The product that is not really for me is the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution. It says it reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. And while I think that's true, temporarily a little bit i don't know about this one i you know i'm i was kind of disappointed because i was really looking for something to target these like bags <laughs> that i have under my eyes and this product had really good reviews and people were really like raving about it saying how much they love it and for me i don't know yeah like i said i do think that it did decrease like the puffiness but only for like maybe 20 minutes to an hour which i mean that's something but that's not really my thing like when i think about skincare i try to think of it and look at it as small steps that i can take every day to keep my skin healthy and looking its best long term not like a quick fix that's not permanent if that makes sense so for me this product was just a miss I don't know if you've tried it and you love it let me know if I'm wrong about caffeine and that I will see a long-term benefit if I am consistent with it let me know because I you know I think I used this for like three or four weeks and I was like you know what not for me um anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said I will just be uploading once every week so Yes, I will not see you Monday, I will not see you Wednesday, but I will see you next Thursday. And until then, I hope you guys have a beautiful week or day or whatever. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye. Like I've been into this brand for a while, honestly. I really believe in their philosophy. I believe in their products. I believe in their price point and their accessibility to people. Um, actually like side story i recently well not recently it was like last year 
before the Rona, if you know what I'm saying, my boyfriend and I uh, took a trip to Sydney, Australia, and I actually ran across like a physical flagship store for The Ordinary, and I was like, <gasps> What is this? <laughs> because it's they don't have any in the states that I'm aware of so I got really really excited and we had to stop in there maybe like two or three times I didn't end up buying any products because I was worried about trying to travel back home with them but I was just so into just the like just the aesthetic even like everything was like open and wood and metal and just very like cool and modern anyway let's jump back into this video <laughs> I lost my mic. Peptides and their effectiveness. Maybe I shouldn't. Still figuring out the mic, guys. Sorry. <laughs> um. Anyway, so.